Well, I mean, Bitcore is is what our 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 payment platform will be running on, or is is currently sort of running on, and it's it's basically the core of our of our of what we do here. So we integrate uh, Bitcoin into uh, and we extend it, and it's sort of uh, sort of like the uh, that is sort of like the core of what we do here. I guess is I guess the short of it. Uh, Braden, do you want to expand on that? Yeah, sure. So. Um... So uh, Copay, which I think there was a previous uh, uh, Floss Weekly episode on, is built using uh, the Bitcore library. And then on the server side, it uses um, uh, the inside API to query everything about the blockchain. And that's also uh, uh, using Bitcore uh, to do all the, um, all the synchronization. So it's, it's basically pulling all the... Uh, so you know, for, for a wallet, you need to know the, the balance of addresses. And so uh, what Insight does and what Bitcore does is create an index for all those Bitcoin addresses so you can easily query the, uh, the balance. Okay, awesome. Thanks for the overview. And what is it exactly, Braden, that you and Chris do uh, for BitPay? Okay, so, um, so I, I work uh, uh, maintaining the uh, Bitcore library and many of the other... Uh, so about... <clears throat> about uh, or after, since this last episode... The library or uh, Bitcore has been split up into separate modules, and so we have different uh, functionality for like the P2P network, uh, the core functionality for transact for creating transactions, and some others. So um, I work on on uh, you know reviewing pull requests for those, adding new features, uh, and uh, making releases uh, for those. So that's me. Okay, and Chris, what do you do? Well, I work directly with Braden and. Um, I was sort of new to the company or am new to the company and, and I was sort of brought in to, to help out with, with this big core software because originally, if you look back, I think it was episode 303 that we talked about big core before that was Ryan X Charles. And he was going into the, the no JS portion of big core, which is certainly important. But what we, what we wanted to do is bring in the C plus plus shared library from Bitcoin core itself. So I know it's very confusing Bitcoin core, but that's the software that most people, probably 90 plus percent of people run. And so what we did is take that C++ and made it a shared library and, and then extended that. So, you know, we brought some of those C++ functions into the Node.js world so that we could uh, use that. So that's primarily what I was brought in to help out with is that, is that C++ library. 